Hi, this is Kian once again. Welcome to Prayer Line. Precious one, I want you to know that today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I want to talk to you about the three major enemies of our soul. The three major enemies of our soul. When I talk about your soul, your soul is made up of your mind, your will, and your emotion. Your soul, your soul. These major enemies, if you don't know them, identify them, and come against them, they will drag you straight to hell. The three major enemies of your soul and my soul the first one which i know will surprise you is your flesh yes that's true your flesh and my flesh is an enemy to our soul the old flesh our old nature the Adamic nature. That's what the Bible warns you and I. To walk in the spirit, not in the flesh, so that we don't satisfy the lustful desires of this flesh. Your fleshly desires will lead you straight to hell if it is not crucified with Christ Jesus. So one of your major enemies to your soul is your own flesh, your own desires, your own will. The flesh has so much sin with it to the extent that if you don't allow yourself to be ruled by the Holy Spirit and you don't mortify this flesh, it will lead you astray. It will keep you it will cause you to sin against God and you end up in hell so please one of your major enemies is you yourself your old nature that's when when you become a born again Christian you have to make sure that you are dying to yourself because this self or old nature has with it many things fornication adultery pride ego self-will self-glory self-promotion unforgiveness bitterness immorality sexual sins masturbation homosexuality you no know, anger rage unforgiveness you no know, talk about the last or the sense of the flesh the carnal nature the flesh will cause you to do things which goes contrary to the word of god and it, it doesn't even care that what it's doing it will cause you to end up in hell why do people go and cheat on their wives or husband the flesh at that moment they just want to satisfy the flesh and it just leads them astray immorality fornication the flesh you know bitterness anger jealousy enviness backbiting gossip you no know, anger rage you no know, hatred murder the works of the flesh the works of the flesh stealing you no know, all these things evil thoughts evil imagination it's all embedded in the old nature of our flesh. Today, ask yourself, is your flesh crucified? Are you walking in the spirit or your flesh is still having dominion over you? Have you been able to allow the power of the Holy Spirit to help you and I to overcome our old nature? Because if we don't overcome this one enemy, flesh, it will lead us straight to hell. Because the flesh, the Bible says that those who walk in the flesh, you know, those who walk in the flesh but not in the spirit, they are going to 
it's going to lead them to death. Death. Flesh, carnal, carnality will cause you to behave just like an unbeliever and you end up you know, in hell because this flesh will cause you to do things which you ought not to do. So, number one enemy of a believer is our flesh. It needs to be crucified. How do you crucify it? You have to die to yourself by reading the word of God, allowing the Holy Spirit to use the word of God to transform your life, and walking in the spirit, allowing the Holy Spirit to work in you, both to will and to do the good pleasure of God, and crucifying the flesh. Crucifying the flesh, meaning that you don't give room to the desires of this flesh. You always allow, you know, the flesh will say, I want to watch this. I want to watch this movie. And then the spirit will tell you that this movie is worldly. This movie has fornication, immorality. This movie is not going to draw you to Jesus. So you can't watch it. Then the spirit overcomes the flesh. You want to say that, hey, I want to go and hang around this guy and the holy spirit will tell you that he you know he's not a christian you no know, even though he's cute and all that yes still he's going to lead you astray and then you have to allow the holy spirit the word of god to transform your life so that you are now listening to the voice of the spirit the word of god instead of your flesh your flesh will always desire the negative that's what the bible says there's a war between the spirit and the flesh our flesh want to do its own things our flesh want to rebel against the, the word of God, against the Holy Spirit. The flesh want to do things to please itself. We human beings, we want to have our own way. We want to have our own desire. We want to have our own taste. But we have, to, once we become born again, we have to be sold out completely. Sold out completely. Many, many Christians, our problem is that we are not sold out and so we are still living carnality, allowing the flesh to have superiority over the spirit. And so we are living like unbelievers. And it can lead us to hell. It can lead us astray. That's why most of us are not enjoying our Christianity. Just go to your Facebook page and look at the things you've been watching. Is it glorifying to God? The, th the things you watch, the things you are listening to. Is it glorifying to God? The friends who are involved in, how are they helping you to know Jesus better? Are they helping increase your spirit man or are they helping increase your fleshly? Most of us, our, our taste of friends are very bad. All our friends, anytime they are around us, they are you know, injecting or infusing in our worldly desire, worldly desire. They are increasing our fleshly desires. Some of the things we listen to too are fleshly. The things we watch fleshly. And so and our heart desires are fleshly. And so always we are feeding the flesh more than the spirit. You don't read the word of God. You don't pray. You don't fast. And you don't allow the Holy Spirit to have way, way in your life. How are you going to allow the Holy Spirit to have dominion and sovereignty over your life? You'll be walking in the flesh. And the, those who walk in the flesh will die and die in their sins. Do you understand? So I came here to tell you that we have three major, three, three major enemies of Christians. Number the first one is the flesh. Is our flesh, our old nature. When we became born again, we were regenerated, and uh, and we died to our old nature. But you have to make sure that you are feeding your spirit man every day with the word of god with prayers and with reading the word of god and allowing the holy spirit to lead you so that you always be in the spirit if you don't do that the things of this world will be giving strength to the flesh and very soon you'll be very carnal and very worldly that you'll just be operating just like any other person there will be no distinguishing factor between you and others number one enemy one of the greatest enemy of christians is the flesh is the flesh unfortunately most of us on our youtube channels and our facebook and our secret closet we feed the flesh the flesh junks the flesh filth the flesh immorality and so the devil is having access into our lives and we are not enjoying our christianity please make sure that your flesh dies 
by feeding your spirit man with the word of God and also allowing the Holy Spirit to work in you both will and to do the good pleasure of God and also fasting and prayer. This is how you are going to grow in the spirit and walk in the spirit and not satisfy the lustful desires of the flesh of this world. And that's the only way you can make it to heaven. Your flesh, my flesh, has to be crucified with its old nature, with its old desires, with its old cravings, every addiction, every bad behaviors, every desires, every ambitions, every anything that is not of God, it has to die and has to be buried. Because we died with Christ and we have now resurrected with a new life. And that new life is in Christ Jesus and that's walking in the Spirit.